<laughs> Welcome to the Cringe Chronicles part. I don't even know what part it is. I don't either. Wait, wait, wait. Is that fake? Wait. Nah, hold on. I know, I do know, I do. Wait, we're telling you right now. Part episode seven. All right, part episode seven. Welcome to Cringe Chronicles. 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 Great, perfect, brilliant. Seven. Yeah, so, and today, it was no other better person to do this video with than this guy right here because... Oh my God. The topic of discussion today, even though it looks like we're doing a McBong, let's talk about the food we're eating first and foremost. Right. What do you got today? Okay, so I got this good old bacon, chicken, ranch, flatbread wrap. It's gonna hit like a punch in your face. Yeah. Okay. Pim. With some barbecue chips. <laughs> yes, from Tropical Smoothie. I think I got the Chipotle flatbread or something like that. Chipotle oh, wow. chicken flatbread. I'm we, so we about to be up in here right. smashing this as we tell y'all about yeah. our journey or in our experience with the uh, Black Creator okay. Summit. That's on hurry. Yeah, trip that we took for TikTok because they were so dope and they saw so And we had a great time and I was on Black creators, but some were mixed too. You know what I mean? Some were mixed diverse. Yeah, very diverse, and I like that because I'm a I'm a type of a unified person that likes for us to be united. Like I don't like us to be. I like the fact that they did that for us for Black History Month, like where they focused on Black creators. However, I feel like we should be able to come together as a whole, like all all the time, right? Jesus, not just in one month, right? You long. But for what it was, it was great. So that's what we're just gonna be talking about today as we sit here and give y'all a piece of cringe because you know, y'all like to binge off of that. They do, they do, they do like that. They like to binge off the cringe. Like a piece of cringe. Let's just take a bite. Maybe we can relax a little bit once we get a little bite now. No, wait, wait, wait. Do you remember that Amanda Bynes episode on Amanda's show where the little girl was trying to, um, no, like they was trying to open the bag of chips. Yes, everybody. No, no, it didn't even burst. Everybody, they brought it to so many people, even a big buff bodybuilder. Oh, guy. he couldn't get it up. Open it. Then this little girl with a balloon that was just looking real nonchalant. Like, <laughs> like, Does anybody remember that episode? I remember oh, man, I, I need y'all to. I need y'all to relate to me. Please, please, please relate. Ah. 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 So first and foremost, let's get into like the first question. What is this? What was the summit? So pretty much the Make Black History Creator Summit was to bring all types of black creators from all over the world in a way. And that's on the app post and doing their own thing. You got singers, dancers. I found a friend that do uh, black history facts, but the whole thing was to bring us together to celebrate us for what we're doing on the app. And not only just, you know, highlight what we do, but also as an individual, what we bring um, to the table as, you know, individuals that's doing their own thing. So that's pretty much what it was about, you know what I'm saying? Just celebrating diversity, creativity, and just making stuff pop. Here we you. It was like a little mini vacay mm -hmm. where we felt like celebrities due to the fact that TikTok put us on the spotlight and just told us how important we are and the diversity of this app is something that's necessary and they just want us to be great. Mm -hmm. And we're we happy for that. We are. Well, that just went to show us how supportive this app truly is of its creators that appreciate them. Wow. Because mm -hmm. we're... The thing that we had in common with all the people is that most of us had positive mindsets. Nobody was really negative or bumming down the energy in any way, shape, or form, no matter what was going on. So that's what TikTok is looking for. Like TikTok right. be looking for the people that just want to bring positive energy and vibes to the app. Right. And of course, some people blow up by being negative, but that's only a temporary. Not us. Mm -hmm. Not us. We don't focus on them. Mm -hmm. and, and then we ain't judging them either. Oh. Which eye of the camera are you looking at? You can look in one every direction. I've been looking in that way. It's probably over there. Okay, my matter. eyes is kind of just all over. All right, right all over. Crackhead vibes. <laughs> Ooh, I just let the ring light. Oh, He's God. not even looking at us. <laughs> is he intimidated? <laughs> I think the thing's not. <laughs> I think the thing's not. Pew, you fool. What are you talking about? So, how did it happen? Like, how did how did... How did you get reached out to 
Okay, so like, so they like, I feel like it was like a month in advance. Uh -huh, I feel like, uh -huh. I don't really know how soon it was, but they reached out to me through email and it was like, um, pretty much wanted to see if I was available to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they was like, you know, click this thing for like, you know, brief information. They was like, right. they'll give you more information later on. So I was like, when they said it was the first one ever, mm -hmm. I was gonna make that thing happen. Gotta be part of that. Right. So, you know, I was anxiously waiting and then, you know, they started sending more information as it got closer, so. It's through email, and I was like, oh wow, mm -hmm. this is exclusive. And they said, invite only. Right. Same here. Right. Very exclusive. It was short notice, so it was definitely like a month. Mm -hmm. I think we had like a month, a little bit over, mm -hmm. or under a month. But it was cool though, because it was really quick. And it didn't take long, it was effortless. Right. And they just wanted to make a comfortable experience for us, which they did. And they should have made it happen. Like, they made it happen. Mm -hmm. right. It was actually a little bit more than what we expected. Mm -hmm. Because we knew that there were going to be seminars talking. And they said that they were feeding us. They were flying us out. Mm -hmm. They did all of that. Even though the food wasn't that good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he said it. <laughs> But the food um, was a little different. It was. Yeah, it was just different. It was not like they said crispy chicken. That was rubbery chicken. Sorry, I love you to talk. <laughs> Hit me up next time personally and ask us. Like, let us know who was y'all caterers. We want to know because crispy chicken was. Like, it was more like baked when, I, when they pulled out the chicken. I said, <laughs> whoa, whoa. It was like baked. It was like it was like baked crunchy. It was like baked but crunchy. Well, I don't even know. I don't even have no crunch. I was hungry though, so we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I had to go give me some pizza from Platform 30, 37. But that's beside the point because it's not TikTok's fault because at the end of the day, they try to provide some healthier food choices. And just because Absolutely. we. Yeah, it was dumb. You know, and it's not even about healthy, non healthy food choices because right now, this is considered a healthy food choice. Mm -hmm. This is a flatbread with tomatoes, chicken, lettuce. I think it got bacon on it. I can't really do it without the bacon, but mm. it's still a healthier food choice than some. With a smoothie. Some chips and a smoothie, right? So I can eat healthy, but it's just mm. certain things that they be trying like to be too extravagant and fancy with. It's like, wow. like them sandwiches that we had for that lunch. Oh yeah, like, the, 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 the they had too much stuff in them. Like, it was going, it was like going. No, my mouth was burning, then it was mild, <laughs> then it was spicy, then it was salty. What? What? Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, so how did you feel prior to going? Like, when you first got the invite, how did you feel? I felt like, wow. I was like, at first, I was like, wow, TikTok really out here, like, we know they watching us, but I was like, they really out here watching. Mm -hmm. Like, watching. watching, watching us. Sorry. And then like, when I was, I was like, wow, I was like, this, this, this can't be it. So I, I kept reading and it was like, okay, they legit. I was like, I don't care what I got going on. Right. I'm making these moves. Because I was a little nervous at first. Like, what if it's one of them scam? Scam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard that a lot from a lot of people. That was, mm -hmm. it was, I thought it was a scam or something. I was like, mm -hmm. no. Nah. So once you like read more deep in the email. Yeah, like, when you look at like the credentials and mm -hmm. all that stuff, like we already knew Cutsy, so right. Mm -hmm. So to us. Right, the others, a lot of people didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. I feel like so. Yeah, but prior to going, mm -hmm. I felt like. What? Like, what? Mm -hmm. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they invite little old me. <laughs> but I kind of expected it because I seen that they had events going on with other people getting invited and stuff. Right. But I was not thinking that they was going to throw something like mm -hmm. this. Throw in some um, black history stuff for us, you know? Because we'd be like, yo, they always got that big conversation and uh, controversy about the white people and the lighter skinned people and getting more clout when it's really not even about that and I'm really realizing it's just about your energy. Oh, it's, right. it's your energy, mm -hmm. your outlook, what you got going on mm -hmm. is what bases how popular you are on any platform. Really. It's all right. about your mentality, your belief and how you feel about yourself. And what you bring right. to the table, that's what makes you stand out. Know that, know your worth, know your worth. If you don't find it, Please. And don't tone it down. Hey, don't, don't tone it down. <laughs> tone it up. Tone it up. Tone yeah. it up right now. Right now. <laughs> and then don't shell up until you do it. <laughs> and then shell up. During the summit, 
I mean, I love how like everything was so well organized out. Like, I, was I was definitely not like the schedule. It was so laid out. They were sticking to the schedule. Right. I love that. Cause I'm very point. time. What's the word? Time. time oriented. Time oriented. So like when things are laid out and I know what I need to do, how much time I got to do it, yeah. I'm good. So I definitely love the organization of the whole thing. Um, but I just feel like we didn't have a lot of time to like actually create content. You know, because, yes, and you're so right about that, because I really feel like that was not the, the main purpose of us. Like, we knew that we was going to have time to do it, because we did. Right. But the main focus was TikTok to reach out to us and us to reach out to, to just see a, more of an insight of TikTok. Right. And grow, like us. You see what I'm saying? Right. And advice. And in the process, we got to collab and do all that. But right. That wasn't the main focus. The main focus was really for us to, for TikTok to communicate with us and let us know that we can do more than just be TikTokers. Right. That's what the whole thing was about. It was tough. They wasn't telling us to just, yeah, make sure y'all posting content this much for us every day. They was trying to make careers for us, talking about exactly. brands and linking us up with people, famous celebrities and stuff. Celebrity. Like, I felt the love. It was real. I definitely feel like this was more so them type of events where they wanted... It was like we poured so much out on social media with videos. Mm -hmm. They was it was like okay, it's our turn to like pour insight, advice, motivation into y'all so y'all can mm -hmm. be sparked up. And, and that's what I felt when I left. I felt energy. I felt ready to punch somebody. But we're not punch. Mm -mm. We love. <laughs> punch with love. I was just too excited. Move. Empowered it inspired me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it empowered me to keep going. Um, I was already gonna do it anyway. So. Mm -hmm. And we all were, so that's why I feel like they invited us. Cause right. it's not like we were like, we're about to quit this app. Like they, when they don't get that vibe from us. They get mm -hmm. that we just get up every day, we post, and we do good with our posting. We not just posting content that's not going anywhere. Right. We're posting content that people are really attracted to. Relate so, to. Yes, Very relatable, nice. just attractive content because of your vibe. Keep your vibes up, guys. You got to. It's all about the vibes. Don't lose you yourself. Run me, but I don't got the time. Don't worry about her. Just be worried about your vibes. Look. Y'all already know we came to be alive. So Look. don't come up here. Live more. Don't just die. Look. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> bro. <laughs> what was the greatest benefit? Like, what was the most valuable thing you got out of the summer trip? I'm telling you, like... I wrote so much. So they gave us little books with pens, right? I like little... my book. Oh no! Find that, <laughs> Dad. Like there. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Be like, can you send it to me, please? <laughs> Dad, I hate that. But um, so yeah, so we did get books and with pens, you know, that we can carry around. Those little mini size books we can put away with them. And the stuff that I wrote down, like the stuff that they were saying to us, that's really what. <laughs> I'm not finna play. The stuff that they said to us, I'm spitting. The stuff they said. <laughs> that knowledge. Get it out, young boy. Get like, the, all the stuff they were saying to us, that was like, that really, it was so, especially Tracy Ellis Ross. She spoke gems. And even all of them, really, really because this is why they successful. All I'm of them. Nick you. Cannon, too. He was, now, um, he was real. Everybody was real, though. Yes. You can't really. But Tracy Ellis, yeah, it, it's something about the ladies. The ladies have more of this infectious energy, especially when they're in tune with themselves, that just make you so captivated. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. And the men do wow. too, but women, a very in tune, genuine, high level thinking woman is so attractive. Like, mm -hmm. and then it's just the way that, it, it, because she doesn't take herself too serious. That's what makes right. her even more beautiful because, right. She's a very serious woman. She's on. Her, she's about yeah, her business, she, she but she stuff. enjoys her life. She doesn't just. She's not so serious about her life that she doesn't have fun. That she's stuck up. She's right. like laid back, but no one. It's like a one-off switch type thing. Right. Good morning. You know. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest benefit out of it, yeah, was definitely the talking to the celebrities and them bringing them into our. Um, our existence, like mm -hmm. literally, because that energy transfer is real. To be in the same room as a famous person, oh, it's yeah. just like, just being in a room with a positive person. Right. The energy transfer is always real versus coming into a room full of negative people. When you mm -hmm. come into that area, you feel the energy shift. Mm -hmm. So with celebrities and their mindset and their mentality to be around them, that's a blessing. That's a, that's a whole beautiful reflection of who you are and who you could be. That's right. why I always see that in celebrities. When I'm with them, I'm like, yo, they were normal people just like me. Just like us, so right? So they were once where I am right now, looking at a person right. that's higher up than them. Right, it's and, like a chain. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You just gotta appreciate that. It's just like, wow, I'm gonna appreciate this moment so much more when I do get big. And, and even now, to this day, we are like that on TikTok where people are stopping us out in public like, I love you. Right. Wow. Would you really feel like you were a real celebrity because mm -hmm. they looking up to you based on what you're putting out? Right, right. So we're already doing we're it. It's making just, our way. Yeah, it just, way. it just, you level up and it becomes That's more up. and more different. That's why when a celebrity like Doja Cat comes out or we see a person like Beyonce at um, like Food Lion or something, we're like, ah! it's kind of like you can't help but scream because the energy is just so high because mm -hmm. who that person is. Right, right. That's true. So what's, I got a question for you. So yeah. what was your favorite part? the whole thing. My favorite part? Mm hmm Hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Getting that box. Ooh. And opening that box. Oh my like, God. Them gifts. And that was my favorite part. And the ne my next favorite part was the photo shoot. I did like when they got us, let us have that photo um, shoot. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, the photo shoot that was bomb. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I, that right there, I was like, dang. The whole like, experience, it's photo shoot, mm -hmm. photo you know what? Photographer. You know what? Due to the fact that I am incapable of retrieving the rest of this footage, we will be ending this segment of The Cringe Chronicles. Thanks for watching. Now go do something else with your life.